But first, we've all seen them, young people partying out of the roof of very long American cars. Limousines are often associated with superstars, but when savvy entrepreneurs saw an opportunity, a new industry was born. Everything from a Cadillac to an SUV can be transformed into an extra-long limo. And here in California is a factory that specializes in doing just that. To convert a car into a limousine, first you need to strip it. Many standard parts have to be replaced so they can withstand far higher workloads. Once they're left with the empty shell, the mechanics can start cutting. There's no dedicated stretching tool, the process is very simple. They just slice the car straight in half. To ensure the car keeps its structural integrity, they have to cut along the framework. Once they've got two halves, the mechanics simply weld an extension between the original front and back. The car can now be stretched by almost three meters. This sort of limousine would be aimed at wealthy customers. Party limos are more extreme. In America, cars can be stretched up to 13 meters, but they would have difficulty navigating around many European cities. For the proper party limo, the company will stretch a vehicle an extra 5 meters, but it has to be properly rebuilt to pass road safety laws. These mechanics will use 18 large steel bars to reconstruct the frame. Using a simple piece of string helps the mechanic to get everything lined up properly. If the car's frame wasn't true, it wouldn't drive in a straight line. The next mechanic can assemble the new floor. This will be welded onto the frame so the interior can be fitted out. Vertical sidebars are installed too, but they have to sit perfectly for obvious reasons. So far, the mechanics have rebuilt the new limo skeleton. The panels come next with a fresh coat of paint and hand-rubbed wax. Limos are impressive pieces of engineering, but they're far bigger than originally intended. The heavier structure, plus the additional passengers, means the components will need to be upgraded, starting with brakes and the suspension. With new larger discs fitted, the mechanic opens up boxes of brand new springs. They are capable of supporting far higher loads than the original system that is supplied with the car as standard. The bigger the limo, the tougher the suspension needs to be. And the same goes for the windows, which take three men to carry. To achieve that extended look, the windows ideally are made out of one piece of glass, but sometimes that just isn't possible. Wooden floors are fitted because they're easier to clean than carpet. And then there's the seating. The original chairs will be sold. To get lots of people inside this car having a blast, bar-style seating is the order of the day. Big benches are custom-made for each new vehicle. Then they're installed by hand, which is a tricky business, even with three guys helping out. And what party limo could roll along Sunset Strip without the all-important bar? It's fitted neatly into the pre-cut space in the floor and wired up. The modern limousine is full of luxury gadgets such as TVs, DVD players and stereo for the guests' entertainment. Some models even feature disco lighting for that real party atmosphere. However, all these gadgets mean a bigger drain on the battery. The mechanics install two extra dynamos to take care of the increased power demand. But there's one power demand that is a constant with all cars. No matter how long they are, that petrol tank always needs to be filled. This SUV with all the conversions takes 39 litres of fuel to do just 100 kilometres. It's a real gas guzzler. So what started out as your ordinary sports utility vehicle has been transformed into one of the longest cars on the road today. 
And although you wouldn't be able to take this 4x4 off-road anymore, it can certainly handle the highs and lows of downtown Hollywood. The Stretched Limousine